it is a Friday and we are going to be driving up north to visit Ben, my boyfriend's side of the family, so Osaria can see them and spend time with them. We have a major hectic weekend again and I figured what better thing to film than a five hour drive with a newborn because last time we went it took us eight hours and it was hell. <laughs> we went during the bank holiday weekend so there was just traffic absolutely everywhere and I don't know what it is about her car seat. I'm still trying to figure out whether it's like the straps or whether she's just uncomfortable in the seat or what it is, but she just does not like being in her car seat whatsoever. And I'm starting to think maybe it's just having herself like strapped in. She just doesn't like it. I don't know. We're gonna figure that out in this car journey because on the way there, she absolutely hated it. And then on the way back, she slept most of it because it was such a long weekend that she was just exhausted, bless her. So we're gonna see what happens this time around. She seems to be getting more used to being in it, but she just does not like it, like whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's a baby thing, if it's a newborn thing or what it is, but we will see. So we're going to be driving up there. I need to pack. I need to get dressed and get my life together because, you know, we're just starting our morning right now. So everything's a bit of a mess. This room is a bit of a mess again. And yeah, there's just a lot to do before we go. Ben is at work and he will get back after lunchtime at some point. So once he gets back, we tend to literally just load up the car and go to try and avoid the traffic, but you can't really predict that when you're driving across the country. So yeah, I don't know how long this drive is actually gonna be. Sometimes it's way longer than five hours and sometimes it's around five hours. So we shall see, but I need to pack everything and get all ready, get her ready, and then we can go. I'm also taking her outfit to actually see her family. I never put her in it in the mornings because it will not last whatsoever. We get through several outfits every day. So I normally just put that in like her nappy bag. We have like a rucksack thing for her nappies and everything. And I will just put it in there and then change her into it when we get closer or change her into it when we're there. <laughs> it kind of depends you know sometimes we just don't make it in the nice outfit and it just is what it is we can't be perfect with everything so we'll just roll with it and see what happens but yeah i hope you are doing well let's get on with this day also a little side note but nothing beats freshly washed hair i feel like a decent human again <laughs> I feel like I've got my life back because I washed it last night. Hence why there was a towel on my pillow because obviously I slept with it wet. It just makes it more bouncy and fluffy. So I just, I feel so alive and so good as a new mum. <laughs> Those moments are very rare. So we take them where we can get them. Maybe. Finally, we have some sunshine. Yes. Pretty so baby. What are you doing? Oh, I swear she's got bigger again. Yeah. What, what she's doing hell? is not letting Grandma sit down. <laughs> oh, look, she's decided. That's not happening. <laughs> she just grows overnight. My poor baby. I might have to give her back to you. Yeah, that's okay. But I'm going to um, feed her, do my little morning journaling. But Ben's going to be mad busy. He's got his gig, isn't he? Yeah, tomorrow. It's going to be hectic. So we're going seeing Tasha and Seraph tonight. And then um, Seraph is coming to Tasha's house to see her because he's never met her, has he? No. And then after that, we're going... Tomorrow, we're going out with his mum. And then in the afternoon, we're meeting all of his friends who have not met her yet. Oh, OK. Yeah. More At like a festival pub yeah. thing, yeah. yeah. And then he goes off to his show and we go back to Tasha's. OK. So, don't we, baby? So, knackered by... Knackered by Sunday, Sunday. drive back for the five hours, pray it doesn't take eight. <laughs> yeah. 
pretty girl. I swear she's got bigger in her face. I think just she overnight. Has. Yeah, I think she's got bigger recently. Oh, you're growing so fast, baby. Stop it. Shrink. <laughs> <laughs> I think that came out of you. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> Back in painful. Back in painful, babe. <laughs> but you're so worth it. Okay, let's feed her. I need to carry all of this. Again, then? Well, I don't know, but we're just... just... She was just sitting there oh. for a while, and then she started to get fidgety. Were you sitting on your bounce like a mummy? She didn't want to go on her bounce. So the second that. feed of the day. We love our little feeds, don't we, babe? <laughs> Gorgeous girl. <laughs> Bit of a chugger. <laughs> Jam that should be. Damn it. Have you got your cats? <laughs> oh baby, my pretty girl. Are you? Are you my pretty baby? Are you my pretty baby? Yeah, there's that smile. My pretty girl. What we need to do is teach you how to say mum, don't we? That's what we need because daddy keeps trying to get you to say dad and I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Are you going to say mummy? Mum, mum, mum. Oh, I've put my camera on my iPad. Whoopsie. Are we going to journal our feelings today? <laughs> you want to watch Mummy journal? Or are you going to journal too? Huh? To set our intention for the day. To enjoy the car journey. No matter how stressful it gets. <laughs> oh, Bubba. Okay, okay. Come here. Oh, my gorgeous, gorgeous Bubba. Let's feed you again. And then let's burp you again. Or is it that you just want me to stand up? Because that's what you like. I think that's probably me. She's just run outside. Okay. Yeah, now she's quiet. <laughs> she chills out once I stand up. I had to go give her to my mum because there was no way I was going to get my packing done and get showered and actually get out the door on time if I was looking after her constantly because she's just not wanting to sit down anywhere. She just wants you to literally stand there and hold her in the air the whole time. And sometimes I do that and like I put her in the um, sling thing, like the baby wearing sling and I love that and she loves that and she always falls asleep on me. But if I'm not putting her in that, then I literally just can't get anything done. So honestly, my mom is a godsend because if she wasn't looking after her, I think I would just be standing with her every day, all day. Do you know what I mean? And we need to get out of the house and go up north. Otherwise, we're not going to get there till really late. And that's just going to be ridiculous. So I'm going to start packing. I also need to shower and get myself dressed. And then pack the nappy bag with spare outfits for her. And then... Ben should hopefully get home and we can load up the car and we can go. So there's a lot to do with packing because I literally have not started. I tend to do it either the night before or on the day that we're traveling just because I use most of my like toiletries and stuff on the day that I'm traveling. So there's just no point trying to pack them. So yeah, I have a full list on my phone, which is what I'm filming on. So I'm gonna have to quickly check my list and tick off as I go with all of the stuff that I need to pack. Cause there's a lot of stuff. The biggest suitcase you can imagine. <laughs> but to be fair, this is for me and Zari. And then Ben tends to take his own little bag situation. I don't know why he just doesn't care for a suitcase. <laughs> so fair enough. I bought all of these packing bags and they're so helpful to separate our outfits i literally will pack like saturday's outfits in one bag each for each of us and then like sunday's outfits come home in another bag and stuff of like pajamas main outfit socks like everything all in that bag just for the whole day including her nappies as well because it just separates it out and i only need to go to that bag for that day so game changer for anyone that likes packing things i love organizing and stuff i feel like i'm just getting old <laughs> and enjoying the weird small things now so can't believe i've only just realized this 
excuse the crazy reflection, but my notes app and the state of this iPad actually, <laughs> but my note, my iPad has the notes app on it with my list of things to take and there's a lot of it. So yeah, now I can actually take off as I go without having to move the camera. Another feeding session, right? The pretty girl. I'd say she's fighting her sleep. I was about to get on here and record and say that you can't really plan anything in terms of parenting. It's okay, baby. Because she wanted me to rock her to sleep and feed and everything, and that's what she's doing. And then I just realised that my cat knocked over my phone, which annoyed me because he's doing my head in lately, but he's broken my fucking new microphone that I was using to record my vlog and I was about to take it up north with me and everything. Like, I'm just in a fuming, angry moment because it's literally just happened and I just discovered it. For fuck's sake, why do these things bloody well happen? And there's me thinking like, oh, with parenting, you can't plan that because things change and they need you. And you know, like you can't predict what's gonna happen from one moment to the next with their needs. And then it's actually my cat that does something that pisses me off. Ah, <sighs> Jesus. So yeah, oh, I'm so fuming. <laughs> We are all packed, finally. Still got a few more bits to do. Another little feed in the car. Bye. A million snacks. Lighter traffic than usual. Perfect. Boom, five hours and 40 minutes. Go down. Boom, I love you, girl. Like it's gonna be a few months from now and that's it. Because then, then I don't have the chance to be like, I hope they remember what just done. Which a lot of people would not want to do in the position Get your victory back in the main event the next year. And I think uh, it was what I do next, Bray. Mars Bray, then I want to do this type, type, yeah. Maybe, maybe Benjamin, not. with his loud I just, ass, I mean, shitty ass, fucking podcast ass, or whatever well, the hell that this shit is. There's something else I wanted to ask you about forever. <laughs> Interrupting my blog. Yeah, that's only my perspective, sure, I can say. There is no so, <laughs> Well, we're in say, traffic, as always. I do know that. Is it via blog? Yeah. Yeah. Why so, the Such a loser. I'm showing us traveling with the newborn for five hours. Being in live yeah, we're just chilling on. I know, she's asleep. I can't really close. show her face though, can I? She's sleeping on the table. In the moment, <laughs> dickhead. When we are driving weeks weeks the weeks journey, we have left, pebbles, and this, she's that, you know, asleep. Everybody to be like, he's not cool. I, I didn't cool even intentionally plan to not give her a nap, but she didn't have a nap before we left, so she's exhausted and she's sleeping. So the journey is off to a good start this time around. Changes in an Watch out, vehicle on shoulder ahead. Is there really? There's about 1,200 of them left. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> And I think but we're going, and she's asleep, so fuck it. We're, we're doing all right. Was, it is supposed to be, it is no wrong. So I don't think the other way is right. Zach, Sam, uh, I'm one of your weekly listeners, appreciate you, but uh, anyway. <laughs> Stop. 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 Uh, Babe! Well, I'm actually <laughs> fucking <laughs> interrupts my video with his own goddamn video. <laughs> Rude. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna drive now. Uh, if you wanna be in it. <laughs> Right. No, no, no. So what we're thinking, yeah? Yes. Of All I've got to do, right? Try to be myself in
I'm gonna get my video. Okay. Huh? <laughs> Stuff in your face, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Need his own TV show for real. Just of being an idiot over and over again. <laughs> you join the sun. Yeah. Just show him what we're up to. Alright, make sure you subscribe, yeah. That's all your way. Because none of this fake bullshit. I mean, <laughs> look at us living our best life. <laughs> nah, we're in a basic house, basic barbecue, basic food. Because that's all we are, aren't we? Humans. No matter how rich we are, we ain't here to show off. So this is our life. It's not better than anyone else's. Nope. And I ain't gonna show you like a Ferrari outside. Do you know why? Know. So you got one. <laughs> Actually, yeah, we're driving in our little Corsa. That's what the video was at the start. <laughs> but it's all good, you know. We got real happiness. But I did think you was gonna say basic bitch, because <laughs> that's what I would have said. <laughs> But we're fine with that. We're, we're happy. We got the sun. What more could you want? And our little baby's sleeping, bless her. Oh, honestly, it feels good to catch some sunshine. That's all I can say. Up north as well. Yeah, it's, it's shitter up north, guys. It's, it's colder up north. Not bad. It's still hot, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What a jam packed weekend. <laughs> and then we drive home tomorrow. The fun begins. <laughs> Brotherhood and all that kind of things. My times is what always propelled the story to the next level. And uh, just to, to your point, that it's all because it's a real situation. Tag team title match main event in WrestleMania even a few years ago. We are finally home, and it took us like six hours to get back. It was such a long drive, as always. But we had so much fun. It was a very busy, busy weekend. And yeah, <laughs> I feel absolutely exhausted. And it was so hot as well, which was just incredible. But of course, like being in the sun all day can be a bit tiring as well. So Ben and Zaria just in the bath together. We got her this like little rubber ring thing that goes around her neck, or, like her, around her head, so that she can like float in the water. It's just the cutest thing. So they're just in the bath and I am unpacking slightly because there's just so much washing to do. So I thought I would get a start on that and then we we ordered I actually ordered food in the car for when we get home because I was so hungry where we'd been driving for six hours and we did stop at services to feed her and stuff but I didn't get any food there so I was absolutely starving. And yeah, so I needed that but anyway, so oh, I don't even know where to start with this weekend, it was so busy, but we just stayed at um, Ben's sister's house for the whole weekend, we went to his mum's for a barbecue, he had a live performance, like a music performance on the Saturday, so we like left the barbecue, went to meet his friends, because they hadn't met Zari before, and yeah, they got to meet her, which was so cute, and then he went off to do his live performance, and I didn't go because of having Zari and breastfeeding and stuff, so then I went back to his mum's house to carry on the barbecue and meet everybody else, and then stayed at his sister's again, so yeah, it was a busy, busy weekend, but it was so fun, I enjoyed all of it, I'm literally sweating right now, because my house is very warm, just had to like, open all the windows and air it out but yeah 
So I'm going to wrap this vlog up here and that was the fun joys of travelling with a newborn. She had so many meltdowns, it's ridiculous, she does every time. But the way up there took us like eight hours so I don't blame her for having meltdowns. I wanted to have one too because it was not fun and it was hot as well. But she does pretty well to be fair like she slept quite a few times she had quite a few naps throughout it's just having to pull over and feed her because i hadn't sorted out expressing and like bottle feeding yet i want to do it and we'd ordered some bottles but they literally arrived like an hour or two after we'd left so it was just too late and bloody typical but yeah i finally have a breast pump to start expressing and then that way when we do these journeys we can bottle feed her in the car so we don't have to stop as often because otherwise it's just ridiculous and it takes us so long so we're gonna attempt that bless her she sounds a bit upset in the bath right now <laughs> i don't know if you can hear her in the background but yeah she is such a water baby because i did birth her in water and she just loves being in it and just floating around in her little rubber ring it's the cutest thing ever but i think she's very tired from the six hour drive that we just did so i can't say i blame her for kicking off a little bit <laughs> but yeah so they're having a bath i'm gonna have a shower because i'm sweaty but i cannot handle a cool bath in the way that ben likes not a bit of me even in the heat i like a hot bath or a hot shower so i'm gonna go have a hot shower and do the washing we use cloth diapers cloth nappies so i need to like rinse them all from the weekend and put them in the wash so that's a nice chore for tonight <laughs> just fun oh that reminds me she did actually take a big poo in my lap in the car when we stopped at services even though she had a nappy on and it just like oozed out the sides it was huge it was everywhere and it went all in my lap all over my dress and i had to go in the services to the bathroom and sort myself out which was just lovely but you know i still love her <laughs> it is what it is so yeah we had fun and now I'm just gonna wrap this vlog up here and I know that I have so much footage to edit together so we're just gonna leave this here it's Sunday I'm sure I'll vlog again next week or something but yeah I hope that you enjoyed watching thank you so much definitely check out the description box below for all links to everything about me and I will see you in the next video have the best week